Hi friends, so we're going to make a Faith Ringgold quilt inspired uh, beautiful art today. And since Faith Ringgold, her entire thing was that people were flying about and doing that, um, that's my biggest thing that I wanna see. Now, what you can do is, first of all, if you have a ruler, please use it. Otherwise, if you have a spare book around, it's easy to use that. And what I like to do is I like to uh, find an area and I'm going to make a square with it. So I'm just using my book to line up, make a square. And I can do the same over here. So after I have that, right, I have my square. It's not perfect and that's okay. I'm going to make a border around it, which is just going to be another box, right? It's almost as if I'm making a picture frame. So think about it like that. Think about like we're making a picture frame that goes around it. Now, if it's not perfect, that's okay. We can always erase, we can make it better. And the last part is now that we have our square we're going to go and make little boxes now if you want to use your ruler for this or your book for this that's fine otherwise I like to just draw and I like to just kind of freehand this I'm just gonna make boxes going all the way around here so I should have it almost looks like I have little squares right so I have my little squares going all the way around Okay. And this is kind of like the quilt part of it, right? After I do that, then I can add even more to it, right? So if I want them to look like triangles, I can add that. Um, if I want them to kind of look like V's going together, that would be cool, right? This is you telling me how you want to make yours, right? I'm kind of doing some different ways so that you can see. And then the last part is, right, around this part, we would like to have at least one more. So I usually just make another box, right, around here. Now, if you want to use your, your, your ruler or your book, those are all great ways, right? And I like to keep this picture frame a little bit more together, right? So it doesn't have to be all these different boxes. And that's it. Today we're just working on the quilt kind of part of it is what I like to call it, right? We're just working on making sure we have that quilt looking. And, you know, if we have some wavy lines, that's okay. Quilts aren't always perfect, right? We try to make them as perfect as we can, but it's not always that possible. All right, and that's just all we're doing today. We're just making that quilt part. All right, I hope you're all doing well, and I hope to see you all soon. Bye, friends. All right, friends, so now we're gonna draw the middle of it. The middle of it is going to be different for everybody because it's about you. So I am gonna first draw myself, and if it's gonna be easier for you to draw you know, them standing. I think that that's a great idea. I usually put my arm up for this one because it's like I'm flying through the air, right? So I can draw my person however I like, right? If you need to break it down to boxes, that's a really easy way to do it. And then I'm gonna just draw myself like I'm flying so my hair is all, all up in the wind and I have my my head, got my nose, got my mouth, yay. Right? And I gotta make sure that I'm wearing clothes, right? Last part is I'm going to draw somewhere that I'm flying over. It can be where you live, maybe it's in the cities, maybe it's a, your favorite place to visit, maybe um, it's somewhere you wanna visit. Uh, my favorite place to visit is actually in Italy, so I'm gonna kinda draw uh, the little kind of church that I used to go to there. Um, it was called a Duomo and it's full with beautiful art. 
And I also remember that there was lots of buildings that were really right next to each other. So I'm gonna pretend that I see these buildings above me. And there was also this kind of hill that went up. So I'm gonna pretend that there's that hill there too. And there we go. So for everybody, this part might look different, right? But I have myself, I got, and I have the place that I'm flying over. And that's it for today. You're just going to have your quilt part done and then the drawing of you in the middle. All right, and that's it. I hope you all are doing well and I hope to see you soon. Bye friends. All right, so this is the part that we're going to add the colors for the quilt, right? So a lot of quilts, they repeat the colors in order to make a pattern. Now, if you want to do that, that you, you definitely can. I personally think that this would make it look even be more beautiful and it would make it look even more like a quilt, right? Now, if you wanna make it where one side is this way and then you wanna change it to another color and then have the other side be different, go for it. I want to see you be creative with this part. My biggest thing is that you're gonna use markers for this and that you're also going to be uh, um, coloring them in with craftsmanship, which means no white spaces, right? And then in the end, your sides can look like this. Do you see how each of my sides, I have different colors here. Maybe I repeated some of the sides, but I want them to be really nice and colorful. All right, and that's what I want from today, all right? Hope to, that you guys do well with this and I hope to see you all soon. Bye All right, friends. the last part is just to color in your uh, insides or your middle, the story, right? Now I can color my person's hair, um, I can color in the city, and I'm gonna make sure that I also color in the background, right? It's all about making sure that everything is nicely colored in, right? I'm not just, you know, playing around and, and having all these big white spaces, especially if I colored in such a beautiful quilt before, right? And so that's what we're focusing on today. I'm gonna not let you guys just watch me color this whole thing. But in the end, yours should look a lot like mine. It should be colored all the way in, right? Should have the person floating over where they live or a place that they love. It should have the quilt border around it, right? And everything should be filled in with great craftsmanship in the end. So I'm really excited to see what you guys make and I think it's gonna be look beautiful. So I hope you're all doing well. Hope to see you all soon. Bye my friends.